kind of what we had just talked about, just a, a ticket update and just kind of how exciting it is that, you know, so many Aggie fans want to be a part of this. Yeah, you know, as of uh, close of business uh, yesterday, uh, we were at uh, 5,700 5, tickets sold right on the nose. And uh, I was kind of looking right after that first Sunday, you know, we did 619 in about four hours and then, um, you know, 2221, then 37. So I got a little sheet right there. But right now we're at 5,700 and, you know, we're, we're still going strong. So I anticipate, um, you know, if we don't sell our whole allotment, which is now 8,000, you know, I, I'd be a little surprised. I think we're going to, you know, we're going to see several hundred sales every day up until the day of the game. How cool is that to just see, you know, that so many, you know, fans want to be, you know, a part of this moment? I think it's phenomenal. And I'm going to say it's the first time maybe in the university's history that you have 10,000 Aggies in the same place that wasn't at a football game. Um, so I think it's going to be a great opportunity for the institution to showcase uh, what we're all about, not just athletics, but from a university as a whole. And I know that, um, you know, we've been talking to the Alumni Association, so we're just prepared for an overwhelming crowd of Aggies, even driving up on the day of the game. You know, we hope they get their tickets in advance. But um, with 5,700 sold to date and, you know, well over two weeks remaining, I know the bowl has sold a ton um, you know, through their box office from our fans as well. So I really think there's a great shot to have 10,000 Aggies in Tucson. I saw um, Chris Williams tweeted, a, a former Aggie player, like how, how many of those guys have reached out to you and how many might be on the sideline? Um, can you get, go through some guys that you know are going to be there? Well, I know Chris, I know Devin. Obviously he may be playing. You know, obviously coaches talked about Julian Edelman. Chet called me. Uh, Joe Jackson, one of our former NFL players, reached out. So I think as time goes on, you're going to see an outpouring of former players. Um, you know, we hopeful, uh, hopefully get a good number of the 1960 team to attend as well. But, yeah, people are, are, um, are really coming out of the woodwork. You know, my old classmate here, Doug Bluen, who was the CEO of the Fiesta Bowl, uh, Jay Rude, the vice president of MGM. Um, so we've had a lot of our, you know, bigger names reach out and say, hey, I want to be there in person to watch it. And is the AD just, you know, uh, reconnecting or making new connections with alumni, like this is kind of probably spark that. <laughs> Invaluable. You know, the, the benefits of being selected and playing in the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl are almost immeasurable. Um, from what you said, reconnecting with alums, um, energizing the fan base who might, you know, be season ticket purchasers next year, um, opening the doors to new potential donors, um, recruiting in a hotbed, Arizona, uh, making new friends, you know, with the bowl game itself, getting to know their executive team and their leadership. Uh, the benefits of the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl is just nothing short of immeasurable. I asked him, you know, obviously with uh, New Mexico State going to be an independent in the future, how much would a good fan showing and good ticket sales and a good showing on the field help, you know, future possible discussions? Sure. I think they help tremendously because, you know, you'll walk into those discussions with hard numbers in your back pocket. You know, you could talk about theoretically, but then, you, you know, we'll be able to say, hey, we brought 10,000 people. We filled up X amount of hotels. Um, so that is something, you know, now that we've finished the 2018 schedule, we're very close for finalizing 2019 and 2020. That'll be the next thing is meeting with the Bulls separately. And when those, we, we know that the Bulls have existing contracts. What we want to do is put a bug in their ear when they're renegotiating those contracts. Could they build in a New Mexico state to say, hey, if you can't fulfill from conference X, Y, or Z, we will select New Mexico state. Or we have the ability to select New Mexico state if they're bowl eligible instead of X, Y, or Z. You know, conferences love to be aligned with the bowls. So I don't think it's out of the question that that second theoretical clause could be put in because nobody's going to say, well, if New Mexico State's eligible and you may take them over one of my teams, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't think it works that way. So I think we have a, we have a, a great case to make and, you know, strong numbers, strong hotel sales will only bolster that. But that's with the Frisco Bowl, with the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl, with the Gildan New Mexico Bowl. You know, after this, we'll, we'll be able to kind of go on a little tour and, and make that case. I wanted to ask you, just big picture, and, and 
And I think that the previous administration did this. They made a commitment to football, and then obviously you've made some decisions since you've been here that have um, strengthened that. Like, does this kind of like justify what the school's done? Oh, you know, I, I would leave that up to the, you know, I guess validation is in the eye of the beholder. I would say that my vision for New Mexico State when I got here was that we could have a successful winning football program. It just so happened that that aligned with uh, head coach Doug Martin and a lot of administrators on campus as well. And, you know, it's nice that you're seeing some of the um, I'd say fruits of your labor come to fruition. You know, now you can kind of go in the field and, and pick the fruit, pick the vegetables. You know, it, it's, it's a nice feeling. But really, it's not that, hey, you know, we were right or we chose the course of action. I hope we're making wise decisions. But I think that what, what's really exciting is what the university is about to experience. You know, 10,000 maybe plus people descending on Tucson, Arizona. Um, you know, great uh, partnership with the Nova Home Loans, Arizona Bowl, and just a lot of alums feeling good. You know, I think it's the eighth time in our university's history that we've had a Grand Slam clean sweep. You know, both UNM and UTEP in football and all four games in, in men's basketball. So I think our donor base, our fans, our community, you know, should feel really good about themselves. And those people who bought stock in Aggie Athletics, whether it's your Aggie Athletic Club donation or buying season tickets, I hope they feel that they got a tremendous, you know, benefit and a reward from from getting in early. And as I said, the, the uh, you know, the um, – Bandwagon has shock absorbers. We'll take anybody and everybody for season ticket holders, and uh, we'll talk a lot about the Aggie Athletic Club because that will help us get to the next level as well and keep our football program and our other programs strong. Mar, you went to to check out like the facilities, all that kind of stuff. You were part of that, right? What, it was. What was what was your kind of impression and just kind of the the scene and what it's going to be like come bowl day? Sure. Well, I'd say at the outset, the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl folks were phenomenal from a preparation standpoint. Obviously, Tucson, you know, whether it was the Copper Bowl, Insight.com Bowl, there was a rich history of bowl games in Tucson. Then there was a long hiatus, and Nova Home Loans, um, you know, came and, and made the Arizona Bowl possible. So when we sat down with our whole team, they had it all mapped out, you know, our hotel arrangements, our practice facility the ancillary events for our student athletes and our fans so going to old Tucson visiting hospitals um, going to the Air Force Base you know with the teams and for our fans you know uh, downtown uh, on Thursday with the big pep rally you know we have a big alumni event at Gentle Benz which is a bar establishment in Tucson and the next day the game day you know having the whole mall at the University of Arizona one big tailgate party and then you know our alumni association too so they had it mapped from pillar to post from soup to nuts um, they're pros they were very excited certainly our ticket sales and the fever pitch of our fans reaching out to them really resonated with them but I couldn't say enough good things about the entire staff of the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl it's been first class where does the team practice um, South Pont High School Kim am I saying that right South Point High School you know, a Phoenix guy is never going to get Tucson high schools, right? Uh, South Point High School, which is a, a, a private school, a school that has great football as well. Um, we saw their facilities, so it's got a tremendous uh, artificial or synthetic grass field, locker rooms, weight rooms, so we'll be able to replicate, um, um, you know, what we have here um, in Tucson for the team.